Today we will talk about Ehlers and Clark's cognitive model of PTSD. At the core of their cognitive model lies the idea that PTSD persists due to a disturbance in how the traumatic event is processed and stored in memory. The model outlines two primary mechanisms contributing to this sense of current threat. The first mechanism is the way the trauma memory is encoded and retrieved. Unlike normal memories, which are integrated into a broader autobiographical context, trauma memories are often stored in a fragmented and sensory-focused manner. This makes them easily triggered by specific cues, such as sights, sounds or smells, that were present during the traumatic event. For example, the sound of a firework might instantly transport a trauma survivor back to the event, causing them to re-experience the terror and helplessness they felt at the time. The second mechanism involves maladaptive appraisals or interpretations of the trauma and its aftermath. Ehlers and Clark emphasise that individuals with PTSD often develop negative beliefs about the event, themselves or the world. For example, they might think, I'm to blame for what happened, or the world is a dangerous place and I'm never safe. These appraisals exacerbate the sense of threat and fuel behaviours like avoidance. A critical component of the model is the role of cognitive and behavioural strategies that inadvertently maintain PTSD symptoms. These include strategies like avoidance of trauma-related thoughts, situations or emotions, as well as excessive rumination about the event. While these strategies may provide temporary relief, they prevent the individual from processing the trauma effectively and integrating it into their broader life narrative. Ehlers and Clark's model also places emphasis on the concept of data-driven processing during the trauma itself. This refers to a heightened focus on sensory details, such as sights and sounds, rather than on the meaning or broader context of the event. This form of processing contributes to the fragmented nature of trauma memories, making them harder to retrieve in a coherent and controlled way. Instead, they pop up unbidden, often triggered by seemingly innocuous cues in the environment.